Hey, looks like I might be streaming right now. I am. I am. I am live streaming right now. How about that? How cute. All right. It's pretty simple. <laughs> um, so what I'm doing here is working with Photoshop to do um, some cool, let's see, let's move us over here. I'm using the layers a lot, so I'm gonna be over here a lot. So, and let's make it a little bit smaller. There we go. So what I'm doing here is working on uh, album art or art for our show. This is kind of cool because um, I, I have so much fun with this. Um, what what we here's our main layout for our show right uh, the main uh, scene template and uh, you know we've got the album cover that we're listening to for the show uh, of course our the Maya and Dell's webcams um, the artist photo the uh, our, our uh, logo animation and then the most interesting part to me is the song art because um, this is where we are uh, it's the song that we're listening to we listen to cool albums right so we listen to a set of songs that an artist has put together and we love our albums because you know it's a set of it's a set of songs that make sense together somehow an artist has decided or their producer has decided that this is uh, a collection so um, so uh, generally what happens is we'll start the show um, and just show the list of the songs right and as we move through the show and listen to the songs you know we will update the uh, song graphic here to uh, whatever song we're listening to. So what happens is I set up each one of these. I set up a, a uh, song art file inside this frame here uh, that you know updates as we go through the show. Um, okay, so uh, that's the template. Now here is my file uh, that is the song art and I, I use layer comps for this. I set up all my uh, layers and this is actually layer comps are perfect for this kind of thing because I can set up every every composition. Uh, layer comps is a uh, Comp is short for composition, so it's a layer a set of layers, right? Layer compositions are sets of layers. For instance, if I go to the main, um, you can see what what happens when I change to one is the the uh, folder for uh, song one uh, appears automatically, and I can just you know do I have to do it this way? Well, since I have song art set up in this case by folder then I don't really have to use layer comps I could just you know turn on the folder for that but then I'd have to turn off you know second thought and stuff so um, so yeah I mean really layer comps are great ways to um, to set up preset graphics you know like uh, infographics and that's kinda what this is right here is an infographic right information about what song is playing <coughs> So I'll set up one of these and then I'll just export it as a PNG, right? And um, and then once that song has been extorted, so this is uh, number five, track, uh, track six, 
So I save it as 6.png, right? And then in the, um, the template, I will, uh, I usually, I, tr I tried, I have this frame set up in, um, in uh, Photoshop that, and I cannot figure out why this doesn't work. You can notice that this is, if I, the, the fill is 0% here. If I crank that up to 100, you actually see this is the album, the song art for the bird and the bee, when we, which we listened to a couple of weeks ago. And I was, I have not been able to get my album art to go into a frame. So what I end up having to do is uh, hide the fill completely, make the fill transparent. And when I bring in, so what I do is I, I usually click on this frame and I will go to file, uh, place linked, uh, as opposed to place embedded um, linked, I can, if I update the song art, right, which I just did a moment ago, uh, when I wanted to, uh, uh, what I did was I updated the rectangle and I took the stroke off. It was a black stroke, right? But because of the album art, there is no black stroke on this orange on gray. So I decided to take the stroke off. And I think that's a, it's a, it's a, a little tighter integration with, uh, the actual album so uh, that's why I when when I uh, when I place this graphic I do the place linked because um, when I change the uh, that that file uh, in the other you know on the hard drive um, it automatically gets updated here in uh, the template so um, yeah so anyway let me do this again I'll show you what happens and say let's say I wanted to put in um, you know, song six or whatever. Now keep an eye over here in the layers. When I import this, uh, I selected six and I'm gonna place it. And what happens is it drops it above on the, and this is what happens anytime you add a layer, you, put, you, add, you, know, you add a new layer that adds it to the layer above the current layer. Uh, so when you place it, places the layer above the current one. So I don't know why it does that because why shouldn't, I mean, I want it to go inside <laughs> This layer. So it, at any rate, when that happens, um, now the track, the uh, six uh, layer six here, it, it, we, we're missing our um, our uh, um, our border, our, our frame, right? So I need to pull that down under the frame. Here's the frame itself. So when I do that, you know, um, I can see the frame. So. It's just an, uh, kind of an added, um, I'm gonna delete that just because I don't need it because I already have it here. Um, and if I do, if I, uh, if I do all these, then I can, uh, on this, on this uh, template, I can switch between each uh, song by choosing my song number here, right? So this is a lot of fun. Um, I love this aspect of producing our show um, it's kind of the thing I get off on uh, let me show you I want to show you the um, what we're, this week we're doing a Bernice uh, a puff in the air without a shape um, blood I, I need, yeah here we go here's the template for this one so here's the template for Bernice and I here's the main uh, template here's song one glue so it's a different layout altogether. Song two, passenger plane. Song three, David. And notice I have used comp, uh, layer comps here. I could do the same thing over here, you know. Um, but I just, you know, uh, lazy or I don't know. I just like layer comps. Um, all right, he's the moon. The sixth track is Santa Lucia, and the seventh is boat. So. Um, also, I had really fun with this uh, artist photo here. Um, the original photo for um, for that um, for that band uh, show, the Bernice uh, band photo, was actually um, let me 
see. It's this one right here. So, uh, so originally it looks like this, right? So they're just really spread out. And, but luckily, uh, Dell found this one. Luckily, there's just this nice solid black background. So what I did um, with that one was, uh, is it recent here? Um, yeah, it's this one. Yeah, so what I did with this one was I took the album cover, um, right, the album cover here, and I put that in the background in place of that, you know, just that plain white wall. Um, so that's the album cover here on this layer, right? Uh, and then the shadows. The shadows are really cool here on this one. So uh, there's a couple of layers of just saturation and uh, levels just to clean things up. And then, so here's, uh, oh, I can't remember the Dave bass player, um, but uh, Robin is the, she's the main songwriter, singer, uh, the bass player, uh, the other uh, girl singer, and then uh, you see the, Keyboardist is this guy, and the drummer says, I can't remember their names. Um, but anyway, so that's, uh, that's this is, uh, those three are right there in the, f on the one layer. And then I cut out um, uh, the, the two guys that were out on the side, right, these two guys, and just cut them out and then just move them over um, so that they're more tightly integrated so that they'll fit within the frame, you know, I need them to fit within that frame there. So, uh, and then I added the shadows. So you can see here, here's the shadows. Uh, and uh, what are the settings on that? I did a masked to only show the shadows and then I did an opacity of 56 and multiply blend mode. So, um, you know, I think, um, I think this one turned out really well. I'm really happy with it. Um, you don't need, you know, that was the original there. Um, if I turn off those, you can see, you know, the guys were way over on the side there. Um, so we don't need that one. So, uh, yeah, I was really happy with this one. And, um, uh, you know, I just have fun. This is a cool thing that I have fun with. Uh, I, you know, it's creative to come up with different ways of, of uh, showing which song is playing. Uh, this was fun. I, the idea from this is uh, the, the kind of the circle with the song number came from the uh, album, the slip, uh, the slip case of the CD. I bought the CD from the band um, and it took several months to arrive because of COVID. I ordered it in like April of 2020 and it arrived in like October and it did arrive um, and they said it was going to take a long time because nobody was in the shop because <laughs> of the lockdown. It was and it was so cool, I, you know, kind of hearing from the, the band, I, fe I felt like it was, uh, I, d I don't know who it was, I guess this email, but anyway, I got a CD, and the slip is cool, it's got the lyrics and everything, and for each song, at the beginning of the lyrics, it's got the song number with in inside a circle, really tiny, you know, it's this big. But I thought, okay, I'm gonna, you know, my idea is that I try to use the fonts and the style of the album cover and 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 the backside of the album and any of the album art, anything that I can find, you know, how did the band do their art? And I try to stick with that kind of theme and those objects and, and colors and fonts and all that. So, yeah, so I took the, the the song number inside the circle and then um because there is no they don't number their songs anywhere except in on that cd slip you know um slip case so so uh, that was the only song number that they had anywhere and so i decided to run with it uh it's black and it's really tiny uh, i chose to do this red color i i, I tried this darker red and it was a little too distracting so I went to with the lighter this orange I tried the yellow you couldn't re see it at all so 
I also added a little bit of a gradient in the, um, let's see, can I open that song art? I think it's this one. No. Here, I have it. Yeah, it's this one. So yeah, the, the idea here, I I didn't even get into the, uh, is this it? It, it? Well, sort of. I was working on it here. Um, I took this picture with, with that slip cover with my phone. You can see there that the, uh, there's the little reflection of the light, which I had to kind of spray paint over. That's not the one, uh, let's see. Um, is it this one? Yes, here we go. Yeah, so yeah. So you can see what I did here. Uh, let's look at the uh, passenger plane folder. And I took the two, that two right there. Let's turn off the text. And you can see I you added a, um, a gradient overlay here. Right. If I turn off that gradient overlay, you know that gives us that uh, it's a radial. Uh, here's the gradient, um, and so um, I just went with the colors. Right, this red is this red right here, and this yellow was this yellow, and I did something in between there. So I, look, I love gradients. I try to use gradients as much as I can, which is not that often actually. Um, you know, gradients are real life, man. Uh, hardly, there's never, never, ever in the real world do you find a flat, solid, single one cover, one color. You know, I, it, it just doesn't happen in nature. It doesn't happen. It's a man-made thing. So gradients are real life. I like to use gradients when I can. Um, but anyway, so that's kind of the idea with, um, um, the uh, gradients there, the song numbers, all that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, so um, yeah, um, just a little kind of uh, update about uh, the kind of cool stuff that I'm, one of, the, one, one of the cool things, one of the cool things that's happening um, because of this show, you know. Uh, anyway, hope you've enjoyed this. Well, see you later.